is Thursday, April the 16th. I would like to welcome all of you to St. John Chrysostom Church. My name is Father Ed Hallinan. I'm the pastor at St. John's, and assisting me this morning is uh, Deacon John Bowie. Obviously, welcome everyone from St. John Chrysostom, but other viewers uh, as well. Uh, welcome. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. As we gather today to continue to celebrate the Easter event, the resurrection of our Lord, we thank God for inviting us to share in the new life of resurrection. As we again trudge through another day with the virus, we ask the Lord to clear our minds, to lift our hearts, to be able to care for one another. Lord Jesus, you carried your cross for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you were risen from the dead. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you send us the gift of your Spirit to remind us of everything that you ever said or did. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy. mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. <coughs> o God, who have united the many nations in confessing your name, Grant that those reborn in the font of baptism may be one in the faith of their hearts and the homage of their deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. As the crippled man who had been cured clung to Peter and John, all the people hurried in amazement toward them in the portico called Solomon's portico. When Peter saw this, he addressed the people, You children of Israel, why are you amazed at this? And why do you look so intently at us, as if we had made him walk by our own power or piety? The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, the God of our fathers, has glorified his servant Jesus, whom you handed over and denied in Pilate's presence when he had decided to release him. <clears throat> you denied the Holy and Righteous One and asked that a murderer be released to you. The author of life you put to death, but God raised him from the dead. Of this we are witnesses. And by faith in his name, this man, whom you see and know, his name has made strong and the faith that comes through it has given him this perfect health in the presence of all of you. Now I know, brothers and sisters, that you acted out of ignorance, just as your leaders did. But God has thus brought to fulfillment what he had announced beforehand through the mouth of all the prophets, that his Christ would suffer. Repent, therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be wiped away, and that the Lord may grant you times of refreshment, and send you the Christ already appointed for you, Jesus, whom heaven must receive until the times of universal restoration 
of which God spoke through the mouth of his holy prophets from of old. <clears throat> For Moses said, A prophet like me will the Lord your God raise up for you from among your own kin. To him you shall listen in all that he may say to you. Everyone who does not listen to that prophet will be cut off from the people. Moreover, all the prophets who spoke from Samuel and those afterwards also announced these days. You are the children of the prophets and of the covenant that God made with your ancestors when he said to Abraham, <clears throat> in your offspring, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. First, for you, God raises up his servant and sent him to bless you by turning each of you from your evil ways. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. <clears throat> o Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. O, o Lord, Lord our God, God how, how wonderful, wonderful your name in all the earth. earth. O Lord, our Lord, how glorious is your name over all the earth! What is man that you should be mindful of him, or the son of man that you should care for him? O Lord, our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth! You have made him little less than the angels, and crowned him with glory and honor. You have given him rule over the works of your hands, putting all things under his feet. O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. All sheep and oxen, yes, and the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fishes of the sea, and whatever swims the paths of the sea. O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. May the Lord be on your heart, on your lips, you may proclaim the Holy Gospel, Lord of the Lane, well, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Father. The Lord be with you, and with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel, according to Luke. Glory, Glory to you, to you Lord. Lord. The disciples of Jesus recounted what had taken place along the way, and how they had come to recognize him in the breaking of the bread. While they were still speaking about this, he stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. But they were startled and terrified, <clears throat> and thought that they were seeing a ghost. Then he said to them, Why are you troubled? And why do questions arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Touch me and see, because a ghost does not have flesh and bones, as you can see I have. And as he said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. While they were still incredulous for joy and were amazed, he asked them, Have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of baked fish. He took it and ate it in front of them. He said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and in the prophets and Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures, and he said to them, Thus it is written that the Christ should suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name and to all the nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. In yesterday's homily, we talked about the presence of the risen Jesus and how Jesus is able to take us from going, to, going one direction to going to a brand new direction. When we were watching the apostles during Christ's passion, his crucifixion and his death, we see how they abandoned him. And we hear today in the Acts of the Apostles how these apostles who were so fearful to even acknowledge their connection to the Lord are out freely and openly 
speaking about the resurrected Lord. Within our own day, we too are called to be witnesses to God's love in the world. And even though we're going through a horrible time, isn't it beautiful to see the witness of Christ in doctors, in nurses? We talk about Good Friday. We talk about the Passion. We talk about laying down your life for others. Isn't that what we are seeing in the medical community? How about within our families? Many parents are used to being at work, providing for their children, and now these parents are at home, lovingly with their children. Now, I say lovingly, but I think they miss their teachers uh, immensely. I think there's probably a new appreciation for uh, what their children do from uh, 8 till 3 o'clock uh, in the afternoon, Monday through Friday, when their teachers uh, have them. But again, that witness of uh, love. And again, I can't list all of those in society, but so many in our society today are witnessing to the love of Christ. The love of Christ sometimes entails suffering and sacrifice. We are seeing that. And sometimes the witnessing to Christ is the applause that nurses and doctors are receiving, or even the applause that patients who had been diagnosed with the coronavirus, when they leave to go home, the medical community in that hospital applauds the patient for becoming well. So as we celebrate this Mass today, and we continue to celebrate the risen Christ, let us thank God for those within our community, with those in our world, who are witnessing to the love of Christ by what they do day in and day out. God bless you. God, we thank you for listening to our prayers. We ask that you listen to the prayers that we bring before you. For the Catholic Church throughout the world, may God guide and encourage all believers in their faith and reliance on Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the leaders of all nations, may God grant them wisdom and strength in building peaceful communities. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all who are grieving the loss of a loved one during this Easter season, may God provide comfort <coughs> through the hope of the resurrection. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our St. John's faith community, for the members of our community who are sick in mind or in body, may God give them courage as they face the difficulties of treatment and recovery. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are on the front lines of the coronavirus, witnessing the glory of God, the glory of the resurrected God, that our Lord will keep them safe and keep them from all harm during these perilous times, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For those who are in hospitals, or makeshift hospitals, or assisted living centers, or nursing homes, or other places where they're sequestered or cloistered, that the Lord will prevent the coronavirus from entering where they live and where they reside and keep them in good health. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For all the faithful departed, may God grant them eternal peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For Andrew Brenner, for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. And for our special parish petitions that we offer in the silence of our heart, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. God, we ask you to answer our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, 
For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May, may the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Graciously be pleased, O Lord, to accept the sacrificial gifts we offer joyfully, both for those who have been reborn and in hope of your increased help from heaven, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up <clears throat> your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb, who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death. By rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. Save us, Savior, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray the partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Nelson, our Bishop, and all the clergy, the consecrated religious, and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. 
Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Alleluia, Alleluia. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Have a great day, and God bless you all.